Hey guys, welcome to another special special stream. This is batch 17 beta. Some of those. Right. Why won't you pick up the grenades? That's uh, okay. Thank you. Grenades. Right. Okay. So. Did you frost? How are you, my friend? So, uh, we'll interact with this guy, maybe, if he lets. Maybe not. Look at the size of his gun! Alright, we won't interact with him. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to talk to me, obviously. He doesn't like me. So. This is a tree, obviously, but look at the detail that they've gone into. This is a small, small team that put this together. That's fine, don't worry about it. But yeah, oh, as you can see, all the trees, they have spent a lot of time on all the details. I have my graphics set to fantastic level instead of fastest just because I can but as you can see they've gone into real detail with absolutely everything even the grass blades um, I believe they used the unity engine to make all this Lots and lots of stars, different trees and vines. Okay, thank you very much, Digital Frost. They've not, it doesn't look like they've rushed anything at all. They've really gone into great details. You've got poppies there, even with the little. That middle bit of the poppy. That's digital frost there, I believe, jumping up and down like a cra like a crazy man. He's not got his shiny boots, unfortunately. So this is what the graphics look like on this. And I think it's amazing. I will show you in more detail the weaponry if Digital Frost wouldn't mind standing still for a couple of seconds. So, this is a gun skin. Which is absolutely immense. Thank you very much, Digital. That's, that's very kind of you. You make a good model. So we'll go and see if we can get me a chess piece. That's uh, flaming torches. So it's not complete darkness. And then you got 
people shooting at me already? Where did they shoot me from? I didn't even see him. Right. Just lay down a turret. And once uh, we kill the people, I will... This is a shield, it's a, it's a mobile protection unit. Oh, okay, so we got the crates. They've even got their own shipping numbers. And as you can see, they've not They've not skipped any part on that. This is a mobile shield, and you can re-pick up. Can you? No, okay, maybe not. But you get you get to play with some of those, and as you can see, you can still see through it, but it will give you plenty of protection. As you can see, the the aurora light, aurora from the lighting changes as day and night come and go. You have a flashlight, of course. You've got some older looking crates. You've got defensive walls. You've got the auto crouch, which is, which is awesome. You have auto crouch, again. You have the medical equipment. And as you can see, they've even gone to town with the screens. So it's, you know, feels like you're actually in a base. Foot lockers, bunk beds, very military style. Chest piece. I reckon it's already been picked up because it won't let me pick it up. There we go. I've got now stunning blue armor on. As you can see, they they got the basic suit, which everybody starts off with. And then they've got control rooms to monitor security. Flashlight is extremely bright, which is very helpful when they're dark. This again, guys, is a beta, so you know this is uh, awesome. And for betas, you do expect to find a few bits and pieces that are still being worked on and tweaked about with. You got the lovely sound effects. The doors, they remind me of Alien. I don't know why specifically Alien, but that's the one it reminds me of. And then you got a nice room here. Looks like they're going to be building something nice in here. As you can see, they've gone for a grating, metal grating. You got windows. You got some lights, which obviously will be on during the night. You got a keypad. Oh, it's gone dark in. Day and night seems to come around quick. This is awesome. And you got a lovely ruin here, Oop. which with the stonework they've gone to town with, which is awesome. Really feels like it is part of an old ruin. Turn my flashlight on, see a bit better. And obviously they've hidden some grenades here, so if you're if you're running low on grenades, you can just run up here. Obviously under fire. You've got I mean just look at that detail that they've actually gone into. So you've got your old ruins of like an old civilization. And 
then you've got the new the new tech which is very awesome but as you guys can see they've done a really really good job with the rendering that's a start base so you got your grenades EMPs health packs shields turrets and then you got lots and lots of stars makes it feel a huge universe so lots of potential for story and other stuff You've even got shooting stars. That's awesome. I just saw those. Oh, we got some people. Let's go and let's go and find them. Let's go and help out. Did you frost? Not that he needs any help. He's a beast at this game. Oh, I've just been EMP'd. So the EMP will actually stun them for you. So any gadgets they've got will stop working, but they can also EMP you, so it will also stop yours. And like I say, when, well, after the battle, you can come in here, grab yourself some health if you need it. Obviously, I was greedy and picked up the stuff, so I don't need it. God, I love that sound effects. So you got the lovely gun sound effects which is amazing. And like I say again you got the you got the lovely ruins amongst the new stuff, the newer uh, like new age stuff. That is obviously in the middle of being built, because obviously you got the crates, so uh, build materials maybe, supplies, you know. The day and night cycle is a bit quick on here for my liking, but is what it is because it's an alien planet. And then you've got sun rays coming through. And it slowly brightens up as it rises. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You know, like like I do say guys, this is a this is a beta game so you got your sneak you got auto crouch so you don't have to worry about crouching yourself which is all good because I'm terrible at remembering to do that in battles as you can hear again you got the lovely sound effects you got lots and lots of jungle trees lots and lots of mountains to hike up and down this is a PvE and a PP a PvP even as well so, you know. So, just refresh all my ammo and stuff. Walk into things instead of refreshing. Yep, that works. Right, what one's that? It's EMP in it. As you can see, you will take damage from people shooting here. I have slight advantage as I have arm on. I don't know if digital does. And I'm down. 
There you go, guys. That's a bit of a quick PvP, PvE, and P PvP. Thank you for the demonstration, Mr. Frost. I'm hoping at some point we'll actually get to have a couple of people on and have a proper battle, which will be fun. So, if you walk around into the jungle, you do get random encounters by the enemy. So, just be aware that when you do travel around, you will come across patrols. And they'll sneak up on you out of nowhere and destroy you like they destroy me every time. I come across them twice and both times they destroyed me completely. But I mean, just look at all the detail in all the trees. I mean, for a small, a small development team, this is amazing. I'm just in awe of the talent of these guys. I really am. It's um, it's amazing to be able to stream this beta for you guys to hopefully pique some interest. Uh, you can already follow their development and information and stuff in Steam. There we go. See, there's a link to the Steam powered app, which is obviously the game information. Yeah, they've got a Twitter account, so you can keep up to date with what's going on on their Twitter account. Look at that sunset, guys. Oh, I mean, come on. That is an amazing sunset. Just having a little bit of a scout around on the map so you guys can see that they've done a great job of making everything... You know they've they've placed trees down, they planted flowers, they've got dirt patches, they've got grass growing in the dirt patches. So you've got longer grass. Oh, oh! Did you just read that? Oh, that's amazing! Apparently, there's going to be a, there may be a new build this week. Later this week, that will be amazing. I'll have to stream that as well. But yeah, they've they've gone into great detail to make this a, a treat on your eyes. There's no other way of describing it. And like I say, it's it's only a small development team that are doing this. And this is based on a book by You'll have to help me out with this one. Is it Yes, yeah, Ben it's the book, isn't it? The lead dev on this game is this game is actually based on a book that he wrote. So he's actually getting his vision out and about. You know, who who can say who can say that they've actually gone and got their dream of writing something and then getting to actually build it and see it grow as. Wow. Just, you know, you get to. Wow. I mean, I'm slightly jealous that he's managed to be able to start putting his. his story. I'm, I'm kind of glad that I'm covering up the uh, world chat. I don't know who that guy is, but they look like they're trying to do something to the world. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, guys, uh, I'll move around again in a second. I'm just going to go and have a look at the uh, DM I have just got. Okay, right. So... 
I'm just going to read what the storyline is, the, the basic story that I've just been given. So, you know, there's going to be a, absolutely no action on the screen. In batch 17, you play as an unnamed cloned soldier who wakes up amidst a violent resistance against the organisation that runs a mining colony that you've been made to protect. So, you're a cloned soldier on a mining colony on an alien world and you've woken up and there's already a violent resistance going so you know it's always already going to be amazing you know it's going to be fighting and everything is going to be amazing born without any ability to speak but with the memories of your previous life your quest for answers leads you to the resistance where you learn that not only are you not alone in having these memories, but there are something very strange about the remote outpost you live on. So you got a mystery there, guys. And I really should put my glasses on. Might help me actually read. Led by a shadowy leader who seems to have vested interest in you, fight for a variety of levels and environments to piece together the mystery of who you are and the significance of the 17th batch of clones so there's another mystery in there as well so you're gonna have twists and turns okay so we're gonna have loot and skills okay so in batch 17 there is no experience points all your power derives from the loot you acquire so Basically, that means you will basically have, if you get drops, you can increase your health, your, uh, hang on a second, if I go actually on to my game for a second, I can actually bring up the, uh, what number is it? Uh, there we go. You will have bonuses, so... Your, your, um, alright, there we go. I'm, I'm doing it wrong. There we go. True streamer. There we go. Okay. So, let's do this properly, Mike, shall we? <laughs> so, as you can see, the player stats will change. So, the stuff in brackets is what you get for basically collecting gear so you can grow by getting like helmets belts chest piece boots did I say gloves hmm. well we'll say gloves again anyway uh, okay so basically that's the that's instead of having experience points you get all your upgrades by picking up different armor which is awesome um, uh, and how you build your character trees oh okay I've just been told that you'll also be able to skin things I'm, I'm guessing that means so you can make your uh, person look different from everybody else or are we talking about skinning animals here Oh, okay, so that's a skin section in... Okay, okay, right, okay. Bonuses, right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> well, it is late for you, buddy, so I won't worry about it. Um, okay, skill points drop from mini, po uh, mini bosses, major bosses, and epic mobs. As well as world spawn AI. The skill points are redeemed for increased power in a particular skill branch. Each upgrade promises unique PvE and PvE opportunities. There are currently six active skills and three are passive specialization paths. The following skills are available on day one. Turrets. 
Okay, so if you if you haven't got anybody to play with, you can drop down turrets, which will give you a second gun, which will help protect your flank, or your six, or your nine, or your three, or you can just put it right in front of you. Rocket launchers, that's going to be fun. You know what? What? What can I say about rocket launchers? Oh, okay. You can use the turrets in PvP as well. Nice. So that's not restricted to PVE. Sweet. EMPs knocks out lights and temporarily blinds enemies. Okay. So that's going to be fun. So you can use those strategically. Radios will teleport you to a defined point on the map or at the high level of spec anywhere so you can pretty much teleport anywhere after you spec it up cover shields well wow. it's a mobile defensive unit really isn't it you put a turret down next to your shield you stand one side of the shield you put the turret the other side and you're pretty much unflankable And you got X rays. Not finding enough secret loot. Keep getting jumped on by AIL players. Spec height in X rays. And you'll be able to see through the pesky walls, which we all gonna love. You know, you'll be able to go, ah, there's someone. Let's go and get them. Skill points so hard to come by, so choose wisely. So that's very, very tactical. Do, 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 do. Right. So yes, that's that's a quick glance at the story and a few of the unique bits and pieces. So escape again, and then obviously F7 will be the bonuses at a later date. And press the right button; it works better. Right, let's go and see if we can go and fight some bad guys, shall we? And I'm not talking about Dizzy Frost because, you know, he's a good guy. But there's one teleport tower. And I just saw another one somewhere. <gasps> My mind's playing tricks on me. There's one tower. Ah! Uh! There we go. I actually won that one. It's only taken four battles, and I actually won one. So yeah, as you see, you can you can pick up extra 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 equipment. This little menu here tells you that I've got three grenades. Next one across is turrets, which I've got three currently. Shields, three. X-rays, free, EMPs, free, and radios, I haven't got any yet. But I believe X-rays and radios aren't actually in this build yet, so that's not a problem. F5 should be heal, and no, I've got no heal. Okay, fair enough. Still got no heal. That's cheating, man. Oh, good. I got something right. See, I can do this stream in Malarkey, guys. Ah! Ah. They're behind me. I don't, I don't want to play no more. They're scary. They're scary people. And yes, I've just died, guys. They bad me. Okay, so. But look, when you die, you still have all the same things as what you had before you died. So you don't lose anything yet. And then you've got 
the smoke coming through vents which is obviously an atmospheric thing but as you can see red light underneath makes a smoke that comes through on the grates red as well so I'm So as you can see the vents uh, pump in the air in both ways. You shoot anything and it will leave scorch marks for a tiny bit. Which means these are not proper these aren't I'm not gonna say proper bullets because that's not the right word. It's more like a laser gun. After all, it's a sci-fi guys. You got an office, and again they've got office equipment where people would be would be sitting and doing their security searches. You got equipment up here in packaging, resources sitting around. You know, as in in the new book. Ah. That's uh, a bit concerning. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll walk away from that bit. <laughs> yeah, um, that's not supposed to be there. Yeah, but you know, but as you can see, connection error. You know, network error. Yeah, we'll we'll just we'll just bypass that, guys. We'll, we'll bypass that. Just don't need to pay any attention there. You got your medical equipment. And then you've got another starting base over here, where you can go and get some, I believe, more chest armor. So you can pick up some chest armor to increase your health pretty quickly, which is always good. you got computers, personalized computers, lovely, much better gaming chair than I've got. you got your lockers with... Um, Oopsie again. And we have, as you can see, they've got different information on there. Um, yeah. But we'll, we'll bypass that. Um, that's been seen now, so that will be sorted out with and dealt with and stuff. In stuff so uh, and again you got another lovely base building here and another building over there I think they just busted my turret. I'll tell you what, the, uh, the, the AI are much harder today than they were yesterday. It's like they learned how to fight. See, as you can see, they move and they flank you. And I'm down again. That's, that's fine guys, it's fine, it's fine, it is a beta remember, so... Yeah, that's very true, yesterday I did have Mr. Digifrost helping me out. And I keep saying his name wrong and I do apologise. It's not Digi, it's Digital. You know, get rid of 21st century man. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, fair enough. I just don't want to, you know, upset anybody.
So yeah, you, if you cr if you like sneak around, you draw less attention, I would imagine. But also, it, it increases your aim. It steadies your gun or your rifle, I should say. It's not a gun, is it? Because a gun is a pistol. Ah! Where am I being shot from? Oh, you sneaky buggers! You sneaky sneakies! They got snipers or something. Right, you go and do your job, turret, and I'm going hide behind a tree. <laughs> so yeah, there's a a big beast of a turret, which you get to start off with, which is just about really because uh, you get your butt whooped, because the AI don't just stand around and do nothing. I must pick up another. Another. Alright, okay. Right. I think I'm going the wrong direction. Right direction? Wrong direction? And when you kill enemies, you can pick up turrets, you can pick up shields. And I've got a funny feeling somebody's gonna shoot me! Yeah. Oh yeah, I now need health, don't I? Go. So as you can see, enemies will drop health, they will drop shields, and they will drop turrets. These are normal mobs. Uh, you do have the elite mobs. So I don't think Sean's having very much luck at whatever he's trying to do, buddy. Oh, hello. That's a nice place to put it. You received. Right. So, yeah, this is the building that I've already been in. Well, one of them. I think. I don't know, I'm confused. Yeah, no, no. This is one of the other starting bases because there's no. There's no, um. Thing that I'm thinking of. No ruins. Yeah, that's the one. I knew I'd get there eventually, guys. Bear with me, I have been up for a long, long time. So, my words may be forgetful. So, yeah, as you can see, it's all over the map is just glorious, glorious, glorious. Whoa! Excuse me. Freezer shield. And as you can see, your turrets do get um, battered. And this is the patrols that I'm talking about. Oh my god. Oh, and I'm down again. Dude, have you guys put this... <laughs> have you made these AI harder? Or is it just because I'm terrible at the game? Hey, Turkey. How are you, my friend? Oh, that's right then. No, it's not just I'm terrible at the game then. <laughs> How are you doing, Turkey man? A full set of arms. Ah, oh, definitely. So, did you? If you want to, um, just post all those links, the command and bot. Yeah, I've been really good, man. Um, I've got the honour of streaming a new game. It's in the beta stages. 
Um, so it's why well, it's under other under the game because it's not actually on score or anything. But they do have it uh, already on Steam, so you can follow the progress. So. So if you're interested at all, yeah, that's no problem. Um, this is called Batch Seventeen, though. Um, I can read out what the story's about if you like, because I've been kindly been given the uh, information. Okay, so Batch Seventeen is an un you play as an unnamed clone soldier. Who wakes up amidst a violent resistance against the organization that runs a mining colony that you've been made to protect? Born without the ability to speak but with memories of a previous life, your quest for answers leads you to the resistance, which is a twist, which is quite awesome. Uh, where did I go? Where you learn that not only are you not alone having these memories, but there is something very strange about the remote outpost you live on. So, again, another twist. Led by a shadowy leader who seems to have, been, have a vested interest in you, fight through a variety of levels and environments to piece together the mystery of who you are and the significance of the 17th batch of clones. So, that's that's the story behind the game, right? So, we've got some more information about loots and skills. Okay, so loots and skills. In batch 17, there is no experience points. All your power derives from loot you acquire and how you build your character's trees. So, basically, you and your friend X could be playing together and have completely different build sets so you guys will have different powers or strengths okay skill points are dropped from mini bosses major bosses and epic mobs mobs as well as world spawned AI the AI will actually flank you they will move about and they will make it hard as hell to fight <coughs> Right. Uh, the the skill points. Oh well, that that's, that'd be good. That'd be that'd be awesome, especially uh, for me. <clears throat> yeah. So the skill points are how you increase a particular skill branch. Each upgrade promises unique PVE and PVE opportunities. So. We all know what PvE is, but to a twist, there's also PvP in the game as well. So you get to do both, which is awesome. You know, makes it much more fun than just doing one or the other. Right? There are currently six active skills and three are passive paths. And three passive specialization paths. The following skills are available from day one. So turrets. As you've seen, I dropped a turret and it helps attack the enemy. Which also helps in PvP, I have been told. So, you know, that's always a bonus. Rocket launchers. We all love the rocket launcher. Who doesn't love a rocket launcher? You know, it makes a big boom. It makes a big mess. Everybody likes a rocket launcher. Don't really need to say any more about rocket launchers. Apart from that, awesome! EMPs. Okay, so we have EMP grenades. So if somebody has got a shield up or a turret, it will actually temporarily deactivate it. You know, so it's like a real EMP pulse. So, you know, that's always good. It knocks out lights and temporarily blinds the enemy. So you're basically getting your stun effect as well. From you got radios which will teleport to defined points on the map or at a high level of spec anywhere on the map. K 
cover shields, which are blue and they are awesome and sexy looking and very futuristic looking. Deploy these babies to provide instant cover from incoming fire. X-rays. Not finding enough secret loot. Keep getting jumped by eyes or players. Spec higher in the X-rays and see through the pesky walls. So skill points are very hard to come by because you have to kill bosses, like mini bosses, major bosses, or epic mobs to get skill points. So choose very wisely. So basically, that's an all-round awesomeness. They've gone into really good details about, I mean, just just the whole details. They've not really spared any any time. They've not wasted any time. I mean, you go up to a tree, you can see the vines that you'd expect to see in real life in the in the big old ones. As you can tell, you've got bamboo. You got purple flowers, which I'm not quite sure what they are because I'm not a very flowery person. And you got a sneak. You automatically crouch when you near objects. Ooh, what are they? They look nice. Tasty. And then we've got teleporters. Each have a shape on them. Which will take you to a corresponding one. So if you go for a square, you'll come out with a square one somewhere else. So for giggles, let's go through the square one. And it makes me jump every time. Yeah, I've got the settings on here is actually at max. And as you can see, I'm sitting at 56 frames average doing nothing. But, I mean... This is a beta, you've got to remember, so... You know, it's not going to be perfect, it's not going to be 100%, but it's so much fun. Oh, I believe that's the one you go through to go to the... Oh, let's go to the big base. Right, ready for the jump? Ugh! It's so loud. It's scary. Right, okay, so... This is a big, big base. There's uh, epic mods, mobs here, I believe. Is that right, Digi? Elite mobs. So, they will drop um, bits of armor, which will obviously increase your powers and stuff. So, let's go for a fight, shall we? And let's not creep out because that takes far too long. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, even though it's in bay, I am enjoying immensely playing this game. Just remember, if you're not teamed up with a person you're running around with, but you're working as a team, don't shoot each other because PvP will kill you. You got lovely sound effects of the doors opening up. You got grenades. So the dev team are right behind you by giving you, you know, equipment to help you along the way. I don't know if they're going to be still as generous in the final build. But you got the fog on the ground. I better go and I better stop sightseeing and go and help Digi out because he's not got his he's not got his awesome arm on. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. So yeah, these are elite mobs up there, and as um, me and Digi aren't teamed up, um, our turrets are more interesting on each other rather than the AI. 
So just just keep that in mind if you guys are. Uh... Oh, he's got armor on. He's cheating. He's cheating. I, I don't like it when I hear see the sank wrong. So, oh, a pair of gloves. Don't mind if I do. Right. Yeah. Uh, let me just destroy that. Strong one. Number one is the one I want. There we go. So. Have I got gloves on? I can't see. I'm blind! And as you can see, you get this lovely... Well, I don't. But Digi over there has these that you can drop down. Oh, okay, so even though it's yours, I could have put... Okay. Alright. Obviously, I'm an idiot. Alright. Okay. So, I wonder if any of these mobs up here... Oh. So yeah, okay, so I could have used his health pack as well, even though we're not actually technically teamed up. If you are teamed up in this corner over above where my head is on the screen, you will have yours and the person's name you're teamed up with. Known issue of mobs loot dropping through the map. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a pair of gloves, so I'm all I'm all I'm all good. But yeah, I'm sure there was a group that come up here as well last time. Yeah, we're a bit light on mobs, guys. Because I, I think I actually died up here when we went through it yesterday. Uh, that's not good. You're not going to take my gloves away, are you? Ah. Whoa, hello. I'm gonna die. And I'm dead again. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. As you can see, the AI don't just stand there and hide behind cover. They will actually come and kill you, because they're mean. Really, really mean people. That's right, man. It wouldn't be PV, P PVE if I didn't die a couple hundred times. You know, I I'm used to it because I play. Uh, I play PUBG, so you know I'm used to dying lots. Right there, you go. I'm all fully geared up. I've got to now try and get back there. So you just go straight back to one of these lovely teleports. And as you can see, I still have my gloves and I still have my thing. So as you can see, I've now gone up from 150 extra max health to 300 because I've got gloves. So it also tells you how many max shields and stuff you've got and you're allowed to have. Shield efficiency has not gone up yet, but I'm sure that will come with a bit of equipment. Damage has gone up by 0.6, which is always good. Fire rate hasn't in increased yet, but you know, it will do. Ah, my gloves should have some bonuses. Uh, gloves, player max shield 0.2%, player max health 0.3%. 
Player fire rate 0.01%. Player damage efficiency 0.5%. That's not a bad little bonus. Obviously you get nothing from the chest bonus. But as it's so easy to get, it's not really a surprise. And I'm going to jump again guys, so give me a second. It's because this is so loud and so unexpected. Even though I know I'm going to do it. <sighs> and to get to the big base, you just have to look for this one. At the moment, I don't know if it will change in the final game, but... You know, it sure does be the ball back. Oh, so loud. Right, okay. So, which end did you get? So, yeah. So, as you can see, they've really worked hard on making it look amazing. Very futuristic. As after all, it is a sci fi. Because obviously, cloning and everything, cloning does not exist in our time. As you can see, the glass has actually got the effect of actually reflection on it. This game has been made by a small team. So, Digi, how how small is the actual dev team that designed and have made this? Not including the marketing team or anything, just the ones that have actually been focusing on building this amazing thing. Ooh, shiny. Sit four to six people. That's amazing. So, like I said, so it is in beta, so you will see glitches. So, please do ignore the glitches and just enjoy the overall game. Oh, Jesus. Shouldn't have done that. Made, me, made my eyes go funny. So, like I say, I don't know if what you see here is going to be in the final build, or if it's just why the devs are going around kicking ass. You have got PvP and PvE, so... Oh, good news is I'm going on the right track because I'm getting shot at. Not quite sure where I got shot at from, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, take it. But yeah, so this is amazing. I'm just, I'm just in awe of the game, and I'm lucky enough to play it. Turret. Looks like Digi's been very busy with lots of deaths. Oh, helmet. Ah, oh, I can't pick it up. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. The helmet's bugged anyway, so it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, as you can see, you can pick up helmets. Same with pants. Uh oh. Well, yeah, that's a pants idea, isn't it? Oh, I'm guessing they're pants, then, are they? Body boots. Shoulder pads. Oh, they are pants. Okay, fair enough. Don't know what. That doesn't look like a turret to me. That looks like an awesome gun. Which is obviously the gun we carry around with us. That's probably where I'd die, to be fair. Ah! No! As you can see, I've just been EMP post and my rifle... My rifle not worky! I don't know why I just tried picking up gloves, I've already got gloves. No pair of pants? So yeah, there's now two pairs of pants there, and unfortunately we can't we can't try one for size. 
Give me pants. <laughs> oh yeah. Give me pants, pants, pants. Right, yesterday we were teamed up in here so we actually could use turrets to help out, but obviously as we we're uh, not technically a team. All that happens is ah! All that happens is our turrets will take out attack each other instead of attacking the mobs. So yeah. Ah, shooting me. Oh, that's DG. It's all good. Health, thank you. That's, no, I want health. Oh, okay, you just walk across it. You don't press any buttons. <laughs> they don't like me. Thanks for the hill, man. So uh, yeah, guys, um, if you feel like giving us any feedback on what you've seen so far, let us know. But please do remi remember, it is only a beta. And it is being done by a very small team, so we've got to give them credit for how amazing everything looks. Woohoo! I'm floating. Oh, okay. I was enjoying that too much, I think. So yeah, health thing that's not active at the moment. There we go. As you've heard it from Digi first, he is not part of the dev team. He is just an ambassador for the game. And I'm just helping out a friend by trying to help him out be a, do his job as an ambassador. Oh, well, I walked into that one, didn't I? <laughs> I, myself, cannot wait until we get the final game release. But obviously, I'll have to wait just like everybody else. And then you got credits, which at a later date will have a great effect on being able to trade. Not sure what yet what's going to be there yet, but have a grenade, sir. No, rip, wasted that one. <laughs> Really? I thought I missed. I'll take that. I'll take two kills. Ah. Ah. I decided I don't want to go and play that way. That's a lot of mobs. I know man, I, I know I know I was moaning about not having enough mobs, but damn. Well, that one went through the floor. And I'm dead again. <laughs> yeah, as you can see there guys, the uh Sinner, how are you, darling? Thank you so much for the host. I really do appreciate it. How are you doing, honey? Long time no see. I'm doing fantastic. Apart from keep getting my ass kicked by a computer game. Yeah. Because I'm a professional gamer. I never get beaten by games. <laughs> How, how have, uh, I guess you just finished your stream, maybe darling? Oh, 
breaking things. How was your stream, honey? Oh, good. I'll have to watch your VOD later. Oh, what you been playing? Oh, I saw I saw Nozabox start playing that. That was quite that looked quite good. I'll I'll be getting that at some point. Whoa, noise, scary. Which game is this? Uh, this is Batch Seventeen. It's a beta game that I've been lucky enough to be able to stream to try and help out, push some interest into the game. And um, yeah, so um, basically we have buttons to press the fire guns. That wasn't what I was trying to do, but we'll go with that anyway. Okay, so the game is this. This is the description of the game that I've been given to pass out to you guys. In Batch 17, you play as an unnamed clone soldier who wakes up amidst a violent resistance. Violent resistance against? Uh, yeah, against the organization that runs the mining colony that you have been made to protect. So, you're not even a human being, you're a clone soldier. And your sole purpose is to protect this mining colony that they've dumped you on. Okay. And then, uh, for a twist, born without the ability to speak, but with the memories of your previous life, your quest for answers leads you to the resistance, where you learn that not only are you not alone in having the memories, but there is something very strange about the remote outpost you live on. Led by a shadowy leader who seems to have vested interest in you, Fight through a variety of levels and environments to piece together the mystery of who you are and the significance of the 17th batch of clones. So that is the description of the game that I have been given. And just for a little bit more information, this the, the lead dev on the game is the guy that wrote the story and he's actually making his dream in his vision into something that we can all see and there's four to six people that have spent their time building this game which is why I'm super excited that I've been given the opportunity to be able to stream this for you guys it's amazing uh, it's slightly different from a normal game because basically you uh, the loot and skills system is not same as anything that I can think of actually game wise in batch 17 there are no experience points all the power derives from the loot you acquire and how you build your character skill tree skill points drop from mini bosses major bosses and epic mobs as well as world spawned AI. So basically if you're walking through the forest or the jungle I should say you will be randomly attacked for, by patrols of troops. The AI aren't the same as your usual AI, they don't just stand around and let you shoot them. They will actually try and flank you. They'll team up and distract you while one of them or two of them will go either way round to get you. They're gonna get you. Um, the skill points are redeemed for increased power in a particular skill branch. Each upgrade promises a unique PVE and PVE opportunities. Right? So, before I go any further, the PVE has also got the twist of a PvP. So, you could be playing along and you'll be going against, going, going against the, the AI nice and happy and then your friend your friend jumps on or some other person jumps on the world and while you're concentrating on taking out the AI this person can turn around and attack you but you can team up 
if you're not teamed up, however, but you're mutually going through the level, your bullets will still hit each other and your turrets will attack each each other. As I found out at Digi's cost, bless him. <laughs> um, so, there's currently six skills and three passive specialization paths. The following skills are available from day one. Turrets. So, it's just like a turret. It's a little gun. It's a little... I say it's little, it's actually quite big. Um, basically, it just helps you stop yourself from getting flanked so easy. Um, the description is, place these automatic beasts down and watch them decimate the enemy. You know, you couldn't ask for a better description there at all, really. Uh, rocket launchers, well, what can we say? We all love a nice explosion. Or seven. EMPs, well, the description is, knocks out lights and temporarily blinds the enemy. So it will freeze their guns and they won't be able to move very much. And other... AI and other players can kill your turrets, yeah. Yeah, see, see, I'm glad I'm I'm glad Digi's here because he picks up on all the things I'm missing because I'm not very good. Uh, and then you've got radios, which will teleport to a defined point on the map, or at a high level of spec, you can go anywhere on the map, which is quite cool. You know, that's uh, quick travel, taking care. Everybody loves that. You got cover shields. Deploy these babies to provide instant cover from incoming fire. X-rays, not finding enough space, secret loot. Keep getting jumped by air or players. Spec high in the X-rays and you can see through pesky walls. Skill points will be hard to come by, so choose wisely. So that is a lot of information to take in, but all this information is on their official uh, homepage. I can't think what I was going to say then. Uh, they've got their own Twitter account. They've got their own Discord. So if anybody's interested in jumping across, Digi's kindly been putting it, all the information down for you guys so you can read it at your own pace. Meet some of the devs. They're very nice guys. Um, and then you've got bonuses. So for I've got gloves at the moment. So it tells you exactly what your particular item gives you bonus-wise. Yeah, well, there you go, see? I, I'm just here to die a lot on the game. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically you have grenades, you have... Yeah, well, oh yeah, you know, I've got plenty of practice from um, PUBG. So, there we go, guys. That's what the shield looks like. You walk up to it, and you will literally instantly ping to it. So, as you can see, as it, as it goes dark, you will get the lovely mist and ambient lighting from different types of areas. So, we have the shield that's portable. You kill an enemy mob, and it will drop you one. Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> and then you have your turret. So, if you use it wisely... I'm not saying I use things wisely, because I don't. Okay, it's not going to let me put it down. And there's the tiny little turret I was talking about. It's a tiny little gun, as you can see. So, this here is what you carry on you. And it's a live update. So, to see that, all you do is you zoom in by right-clicking the mouse. So, you zoom in so you can see a bit closer, a bit long distance. And then it will bring up all the information. You can hit. Oh, oh. No, I don't want it. You have a sneak. Which will obviously increase your aim, make you silent moving, but a lot slower. And yes, if you press Alt, you have the same effect. Thank you. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's right, man. I'm just pulling your leg. So yeah, um, 
this is actually my second stream through of this game. Um, uh, there's mobs there. Okay, have a grenade. Uh, don't have a grenade because I haven't got any left. Because some idiot forgot to pick any more up. <laughs> don't shoot me, I'm a nice guy, honest. And as you've just seen there, the mob actually just flanked me while I was focusing fire on his teammate. So it does make fighting more fun. Because it's not just a straight shoot and shoot. And I'm going to die again. <laughs> See, and there's one down here who's trying to flank me again. And I'm dead again. Yeah, exactly. There we go, guys. That's the uh, interactive AI. I was focusing on the middle guy. I got flanked once, and then I got flanked again. And you still had one of them sitting up the top firing at me. So it makes it much more immersive than just going, ah, they're in front. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, they're still in front. Oh, they're crouching behind the wall now. You know, so that makes it much more immersive. Um, press the right button, it works better. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I can say from the information I've got. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not fully up on what's going on, because I'm just helping out Mr. Ambassador sitting in the chat with trying to peak interest in the game so please if you've got any questions do feel free to ask Digi the, the, you, I mean I'm just in awe of the small team and how much magic they've actually created and the fact that the AI has kicked my butt constantly is funny Scares me every time. Every time. Uh, uh. So please do remember this is in. Yeah, I know, right? Hello, I'm a headphone user. Oh. But please do remember, guys, that what you're seeing is only a beta version of the game. So you will come across floating across spaces that you shouldn't be floating across. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so if you're going through the teleporters, make sure you take your headphones off for the time being. <laughs> That's what we've learned. Yeah, so if you guys want to join the Discord and actually have a chat with the devs and the marketing team. And no, I don't want to die, man. I'm too young to die. Oh, well, there goes the turret. So basically, I can flank them now using this turret. Or shoot my own turret. And down my turret goes again. And I think I'm out of turrets. Yep. Uh, I'm going to die again, sir. I really, I really am going to die again. Ooh, shiny. What is this shininess? Shiny, 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 shiny. Yeah, portable shield. So yeah, the army, the, the enemy will actually chase you as well. They'll flank you, they'll chase you, and they'll actually make you enjoy a gunfight. So it's not the same boring old... Oh, I'm going to die again, ain't I? And I'm dead again. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. 
Right, I'm going to actually re refill my stuff. Are you still waiting for me to catch up with you, Mr. Digi? Or have you disappeared off the uh, server? Yeah, uh, like I say, you can team up or you can just mutually play with each other. Wait a minute, that sounds quite do quite doji. You can you can multiplayer with people. No, I still don't sound any better. Yeah. yeah, I think I need that one. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, so basically, the the PVE and PPV all together is something that's slightly different. It, it's going to be fun, because you know. You got an AI that don't just stand there and take crap off of nobody. They they will actually actively right. Everybody, take your headphones off if you got headphones on, because I'm gonna be going through the teleporter system again, because I'm gonna die again. Ow. Oh, okay. Triangle takes you to there, and so does a circle. Okay. Good to know. It's good to know. I don't know why I keep going back through it. I'm just going to keep dying. But, I mean, there's four to six developers, and they're, they're a great bunch of people. I've been talking to them myself. Oh, man, you can uh, do what you want. I can, I can quite happily die quite a lot. It just goes to show that it's not going to be an easy stroll through the park, even on solo. So you can have great fun with your team. Yeah. So yeah, in a firefight, you kind of got to keep. You gotta fight the AI as if you were fighting a bunch of people, basically. Because that's what's gonna happen, is you're gonna end up getting flanked if you're not careful. As I've proven time and time again. <laughs> so, there should be. They reckon there should be a new, new version of updated release hardware for me to mess around with soon, which I'm excited about. I'm not going to lie, I'm excited about it. Huh. Hey, my gun will work. Are you dead? Dark, how are you, man? Flashlight. Hey, look, I can see. Genius. I could do some health, though. Nice. It's, it's nice to wake up. Not. I like sleeping. Yes, you, you missed... Uh, you missed my first raid of the day. Or host, I should say. By the lovely Cutie. She's, she's an awesome streamer. So... In fact, if Digi doesn't mind giving a shout out to Cinecuti. Though most of the people in the room followed her across, you know. And you're super nice, you know. Super nice equals being super kind, I think. Um, yeah, so basically what I am doing... Uh, shout out. I don't, I don't know what the difference between caster and shout out is. Yeah. Yeah, see? Echo knows what I'm on about. I don't want to play. Oh. oh. I'm dead again. There we go. <sighs> I died once again. <laughs> How many times is that? Anybody keeping count? I wouldn't recommend it. See, I told you I should have got the kill death thing going. Thank you, buddy. Right, 
Well, I was the one that put all the commands in, and I still have no idea. <laughs> so, you know. But, yeah. So, um, guys, if you've got any questions about Batch 17, please feel free to ask Mr. Ambassador, Mr. Digifrost. He's here for... Well, he's here to answer questions. He's more in the know about it than me. I'm just here as a marketing tool. So, you know. And I did I did kind of beg to see if I could get involved in some way. And, well, here I am. I was hoping that some of their team... <laughs> you're a valid tester. <laughs> Yeah, just to, I'm, I'm just seeing how good the AI bots are. It's, it's not that I'm bad at the game, it's just the bots are hardcore. <laughs> so I've actually got my... I've actually got this set for the graphics on full. No, I know, right? But I'm hoping at some point we're going to get 636 going or something, just so we can get some PvP footage because everybody loves PV P oh. English is failing me quite badly today I, I have been up for over 15 hours but you know that's that's not point 24 hours yeah yeah I wake up what time did I wake up yesterday yeah I saw that did you that is gonna be brilliant fun I hope I'm not at work for that though <laughs> I went, I'm going to be pissed. Um, yeah, I was up at, I think it was about 6 o'clock, or if not a little bit earlier, streaming this yesterday. Uh, fine, I'll have to make, we'll have to make sure that I can get in at some point. I'll have to skive off work or something, I don't know. I'll figure, I'll figure something out. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, I've been up since... 5.32 yesterday morning so I do apologise if I uh, seem a bit derish well tell them to make it a Monday oh that's a nice early wake up for you <laughs> so yeah I mean I, I just think this game is brilliant yeah I'm off on Mondays yeah and Saturdays and Sundays, but I'll have to clear Saturdays and Sundays with a wife. You know, because I'm under the farm. Squished under the farm. So. But yeah, I mean. I I am enjoying this game immensely. Can you go and tell that Sean off? Because he keeps. I mean, I'm glad my viewers can't see what he's writing in here. Not that it's an 18 plus stream, so it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, Mac, Mac, yeah, Max is because I was talking to him yesterday, wasn't I? Duh. No, I know, buddy. I'm just like, just like, what, what? I don't understand what he's trying to do. Because he doesn't seem to be having much luck with it, that's all. And like I say, nobody in the chat would mind because it's an 18 plus stream, so, you know, and it's nothing that, it's not being said in other streams. I know what I was going to do. So, right, yeah. What was I going to do? Yeah, that's right. I have no idea what I was going to do. Yeah, if you want, buddy. You can kill me a few more times. More like the AI. It's not like the AI can do it. What, you mean like my turret did yesterday for me? There we go. I thought I'd better actually put the name of the game in there as it's on other. Yeah. Durr. 
but yeah, so um, yeah, I don't know what else to say really apart from I'm really enjoying playing this game. Meet in the meet in the middle. There's a middle. Where's the middle? Can't I just hide in the building and let you come find me? Even though you can see me. Uh, the teleports. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you will actually get attacked by walking into areas like this. By random trolls. So, it's like you're playing against actual people. So, yeah. And like I say, the, the lead dev on this game is the guy that actually wrote a book and the story so he's actually getting to see his dream come to reality his vision so you can't really you can't really say that that's not cool why do I go on the square one or is this just the middle of the map I don't know I'm confused did you you're confusing me now <laughs> But yeah, please feel free to go and... Oh, there he is. Right, so are we going to do this gentlemanly and take five paces back? Or what are we going to do? Right, okay, so... Not quite sure what killed me there, but hey yeah. <laughs> Ah, there you go, see. But yeah, so um, if any of you guys want to join into their Discord and have a chat with their dev, the actual dev team that is designing this team, this game. You know, there it is. Um, yeah, I mean, I love this game. It's not got much content in it as it's a beta, but it's great fun to play. They've they've done a really good job with the ambient lighting. You got the detail on literally everything. Obviously, it is a beta, so you can like do stuff you shouldn't be able to do like that. It's almost like I've got no clipping on. <laughs> but a bad fit. Ooh. And there we go, you got the sunrise. Which you shouldn't actually be able to see, but you know. <laughs> so yeah, you got the lovely ambient lighting of a uh, sunrise. You got non static clouds. So they're actually moving. Well, the cloud shouldn't be moving, or I shouldn't be able to go into the big. Um, that big. Yeah, it will happen when you're in the. Uh, when you're in the no clipping area. Happens on all games. If you stand in the right place, you can actually get the whole. What you mean, that thing? Yeah, I see the grey. <laughs> well, it is a beta, man, and that's why you kind of asked me to help out, really, weren't it? So that I can mess around and do stupid stuff. So, yeah. I mean, I'm in love with this game and I'm not going to lie. I said it to I said it to Max who is did you say he was a marketing director? That's 
That's a big ass Simon throwing that gun. Let's hope I can blow it up. Maybe with a Rocky launcher. But yeah, if you do, if you, yeah, pretty much is a marketing tip. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. It, it, it is being developed by a very, very small team, guys. So, you know, I think they're doing an amazing job. I mean, it's, it's not finished by any means, but, I mean, it's just incredible. No, I hate the fact that my arm is blue and not red. But that's because my favourite colour is red. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, flank me now, buggers. <laughs> Max, those creative is his company. Okay, fair enough. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, well, that backfired. Damn. Excuse me, guys. So, the mobs that you kill, normal mobs, will drop turrets, will drop shields, will drop health. The, the elite mobs will drop armor, weapons, no, not weapons, armor. And this is basically the first bit of armor you get is nice and easy to get. So you boost your health up quite quickly. Oh, okay, I'm full health. Wow, that's bizarre. Um, okay, there we go. So the area is kind of the starting zone, so you not not too hard to press to do anything. And then you get a bit of armor, a bit of health boost. So basically, how have I lost? That was it 300 a minute ago. How come it's gone down? Yeah, yeah right. And then each bit of armor, as we've said will give you different bonuses so for the gloves that I've got <laughs> I got a funny feeling that one's aimed at me <laughs> right so the gloves that I've got improve my shield my max shield by 0 0.2 my player max health is increased by 0 0.3 the fire rate has been increased by 0 0.01% and the damage effects effectivity is 0 0.5 and obviously you can see you get a bonus for skin for the waist for legs for boots for shoulders and for helmets and then there's another bonus what's the other bonus? there's another bonus? Ooh. is that the speciality bonus is it? so whatever the six speciality things are Somebody forgot to put some end down. Yeah. So yeah, you got <laughs> I said what's the other bonus on there? Ooh, I'm nearly out of touch. Oh. Oh. And I was moaning because my arm is red uh, blue instead of red. Wrong building. Oh, a set bonus. Okay. 
fair enough. Uh, no, that's the wrong one again. <laughs> what? Wow! How did how did that happen? Nice. <laughs> wow. So yeah, should we go and get you some armor? Obviously you normally have to fight the mobs to get through, but I've just gone and kind of done that bit for you. So yeah, if you just go up to the piece of armor, and that will increase your health. You might have to jump up on the table to get it. Yeah, see, so you, you're no stranger to... Ah, oh, it's not giving you... Have you got the armor equipped? I don't know, because I can't see on your thing. Well, exactly. So you're no stranger to the problems of having these lovely things. So, right? Do you want to go and try and take on the place that I keep dying lots of, or did you want to just have a run around map? Mobs, 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 mobs. Right, so three is to put your shield down, and four is your turret. See. Uh, yeah, we can flank them this time. Yeah. Oh, we have health things in here, so we go in here and heal up. So yeah, all all you do is you press your number keys to do the whole drop in stuff so number one is for your grenade number two is for your EMP grenade number three is for your shield number four is for your turret which will attack anyone that's not you as we're not teamed up and I don't actually know okay if you follow me I'll show you where we pick up all that stuff because like this is the starting this is the first quest thing you have to go on, basically. So you'll start off in this area here, or the one, the other area, because there's actually two staging places. All right, did you? All right, don't rub it. <laughs> so yeah, you got your grenades here, which will be the one that fits in number one. So if you press Alt or your right mouse button, you'll see your list of what you've got, currently got so next one is your shields which is down here but it wants me to pick up some more grenades and pick up yeah okay so shields are down there and then you got your EMPs on this one which I'm full on anyway and then you got your turret on here so every time you die you'll spawn back in pretty much this type of area so you'll have your four stuff so you can get back on your journeys so yeah so if you want to go and have a uh, go at that going through the tower um, me and Digi did actually join up yesterday but I can't remember how I think Digi invited me to join up as a team. Yeah, I play. I've played Division. 
don't remember much about it to be fair, but I have played it and I had got it. Uh, okay. Yeah. So basically, this is a safe zone. F1. It's case sensitive, is it? I didn't even realise I had my caps lock on, to be fair. So, what you called yourself on here then, did you? Uh, let me guess, you got your full name in there, haven't you? Oh, okay. Uh, capital S. Is this? There's no space. I'll probably spare it wrong now, me. Yeah, I got the T and the I the wrong way for some reason. I can't spell. Did I get the invite? Ah, <sighs> did you? Grenade! Woo! Bang! I don't know why I'm typing this because I can't spell to save my life today. There we go. Um, so hopefully that should mean that our turrets don't shoot each other. So who wants to place down the turret and get ready to shoot it? Oh yeah, okay, so you have to re-log in to be shown as party. And which will then turn you guys green. Which will then sort out the... Uh, Friendly fire. Oh, oh my ears. Well, considering this game's only in beta, it is really pushing my CPU. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hum. I don't like it when people say hum, it scares me. Do do do. I should have guessed that was what you played last, uh, Mr. So yeah, there you go, I did actually change my shout out, I can't remember who suggested it, I think that might have been um, Schuster, hey man, like I said, I'm doing this to help you out, you know, and, ow, my foot, right, so that's Digifrost back. But yeah, so um still bugged. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna place the turret down, get ready to chew it because it might attack. Yeah. Okay. 
What did the floor ever do to me? Right, so I won't worry about picking up turrets because, you know, they just shoot each other. Alright, man. So, yeah. That's, uh. That's this lovely game. If anybody's got anything they would like to ask, I've got a little bit of information I can give. Literally, what I've been given. I can hand out. So, oh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that's batch seventeen. Is uh, uh, da, da, da. let's go up and. La 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 la. Okay. Uh. So basically, this is a quick description of what they're trying to build. And the storyline uh, I can read out again to you guys if you want to hear the storyline because you know after all this is a marketing vid um, so I'm quite happy to reread it and I am literally doing this just to help out Digital Frost um, Basically, he disappeared from, well, I'm going to say my life, because he did. And before he left, he said that he had an amazing opportunity come up. So, guys, this is his amazing opportunity that's come up. So, this is, uh, this is me trying to jump into his world and help him out because he's such a great guy he's he's helped me out so much when I first met him he didn't have to but he did so the 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 chance to actually help him out didn't take a lot of persuading I said to him if he needed any help well as you can see this is this is my second stream of this game um and I've loved every single minute of playing it. The the graphics are for a small team using the uh, I can't think what it's what it's using now. I did say it earlier. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see. Oh my god, such such an uh, amazing streamer here, guys. Um, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> yeah, um I mean it's a huge scale project for for it, but it is uh amazing. I mean the level of detail that these guys have put into it is unbelievable. It really is. I mean the mo the, the different lighting effects, the just that it's everything come together is just amazing and I did ask Max to pass on no I'm pretty sure it wasn't but you know it's, it's handling it well I've got to admit it's handling it well from a gamer point of view even though it is only better
Yeah, they've done an amazing job. Where's my flashlight on? Party in the park, guys. Woo, strobe lighting. Oh, see, if you look through here, you can actually see the different bars of health, little squares. But when, you don't, when you're not looking through the shield, it's just a square. It's just one big... Alright, dead man, thank you for popping by. Have a good stream if you're a streamer, man. Wow. It's like amazing numbers. But seriously, I I I can't I can't credit them enough for how well they're doing and considering it's such a small team of devs doing it. They must be working exceedingly long hours. I mean pretty much I think I saw Max turn up at something stupid like four. Wow. But I mean, just a level of detail in everything is just like. I mean, if you have a close look at the screen that you project to show you your ammo, it's actually got the background of the sky, the stars. You know, it's got your health. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the AI, the way the AI fight is amazing fun. I mean, it is literally just like playing other people because they will flank you and work as a team. And then you just get battered by them. Ready, ready? Everybody's going to have their ears ripped if they got headphones on, so I'll let you all take them off if you've got your headphones on. Alright man, I'm just going to die a couple more times. <laughs> Alright man, um, but yeah, so as you've seen, the AI, AI will literally find different ways of flanking you. Like, one of them come down that side and come round here to get me. The other one dropped down that side. The whole time I was fighting. Did I not get it? I got one. I got one. I got one of you guys. I'm going to die again. So yeah, you can't just front or assault the guys, otherwise you're just going to get annihilated. So how is everybody anyway? I think cool. Hey, I got past this bit. For that like first time ever.
Yeah. I hear that. Well, I'm not gonna lie, you've seen me die enough times, so, you know, we know it happens. Because <laughs> I'm such a great gamer. Uh, so, how was Tarkov for you, anyway? I'll put it this way, they have released a build 1am, oh my god. I didn't know there was one at 1am. I'm usually at work at that point. Grenade. Right, now just need some hot. Right, you guys ready to see me die? Um, I've seen Noza play it. Me myself, I haven't, I haven't got it yet. But it's definitely one you want to play with a team. Ah. 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 But yeah. Oh, you guys turn. Oh, you guys, you guys are mean. Yeah, I mean, definitely. But yeah, if, yeah, if I get it, we'll have to have a game of it sometime, Miss Cutie. Miss it. Oh, hello, guys. Took some of them with me. I didn't go down verified, man. Wrecked. <laughs> Are you trolling me, Mr. Frost? Ah. Right, what am I missing out for? Grenades. <laughs> I mean, how cool does that look at night time? You can see that so much better than in the daytime. Alright, a rush. I'm sure there was a guy up here last time, or was that different? I'm sure that tree keeps growing. This is going to be one long video. Oh, okay, it's only two hours. Yeah, 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 they'll chase you. Yes, it's, it's like a proper... I'm stuck. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I'm stuck. Yeah, there you go. So, where did you actually get attacked? Yeah. 
<laughs> They're shooting at me. Don't mean so mean. Ha 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 he fell down. It wasn't my fault. He fell down dead, officer. It wasn't my fault. He had a heart attack or something. Please tell me there's melee on this game. See, I can just about handle the starting area. This is crazy. Oh, I don't want to play no more then. Oh. Uh, I'm in the uh, EU. EU one, East EU one, e East EU one, yeah. Yeah, I I'm in the East one. Yeah. Turret. But I'm so glad to see another streamers pick this up. Hmm. Well, maybe you have to be sneaking, like, up behind the target to... Moral Stephen, is it? Moralless Stephen? Stefan? Hello. Uh, sorry, I've probably just really butchered your name. Uh, that's just awful. I do apologise. Really do. That's awful. Stefan, right. Uh, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a nice day. So what are you up to today then, Stefan? Stephen? Ah, oh, forgot it. I'll, I'll give up speaking. Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Longboat. I hope you enjoy your stay. And I do apologise that I butchered your name so dramatically. Dramatically. Oh, God. Yes, definitely you want to DM him. He's a really nice guy to chat to. He's very friendly. He's UK time, so it might be a bit harder for you guys to interact, like, closely. Because um, I don't know what hours he does, obviously. Surprisingly. Do, do, do.
Pam pam pam. No one wanted to go in, is it? What's going on? Okay. Oh, yeah, of course you are. What am I thinking? For some reason I thought you were in America. Me broken it never. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. When you said uh, yeah, when you said plus GMT plus two, I was just like yeah, yeah. I know, I know. What an idiot! I can't help it. Yeah, I have no idea why I thought you were, you were in America. I know, I know, right? Go back to go back to geography class and actually learn geography, man. What are you playing at? Ooh, flasher. I'm being shot, am I? Shooting me? Where, where are you shooting me from, guys? Hello, hello. Do I even met? No. No. I never had to before, man. <laughs> you guys are scaring me. Stop shooting me. Poor tree, what did that tree ever do to me? So, you're gonna flank me, are you, enemy? How rude. Ah! Oh, no, so they got helmets on. How rude. Hey, I'm dead. <laughs> so yeah so I I can't stress how much I'm enjoying playing this game I know it's only in beta and I know it's got so much more coming but it's so much fun I have a foot turn up behind me. Hey! Oh! Right, what have I actually got on me? <laughs> you just wanted to scare me, didn't you? That's what it was. You just wanted to scare me. No, I need grenades. Not, not shield. Grenades. Right, did you want to go and try and attack the big compact co compacts? Ah, oh, rip, dude. Right, 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 right. Oh yeah, man, it's awesome. I love it. I, I just, I just. Uh, where's the big teleport thingy? It's like huge. How can I miss it? Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> I, I mean, I just, it's just like the dev team is just 
they deserve a world big pat on the back for creating this amazing piece of art. This way is this art. It's not just a game, it's a piece of artwork. No one can see me. Oh. Nobody can see me. Right, which one to one is the second one? Right, so we go through this one. As there's no triangle on it. Oh! My eardrums! So you just use the teleport. Yeah, there we go. You then have to jump because you automatically stick to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I, th I think they might need to uh, turn that sound down just a teeny bit. Uh, right, okay. Right. So, as you can see, we have uh, got a lot of uh, mobs everywhere. Hmm. Morning, Mr. Storm. I am good, dude. This is uh, batch 17. It's a game in beta. And how are you, my friend? Right, we'll go up. I'll keep dying that way. Should we try the way I keep dying? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> Yeah, F for flashlight. Because when it gets dark, it gets really dark. But yeah, um. Mr. Storm, this is, uh. This is a game being developed by a small team. No. I don't know if they're going to change it, but it is an alien planet, so you know. But yeah, Mr. Mr. Storm, this game is the brainchild of the head developer. It's um, a story he wrote a few years ago, and they're now turning it into reality. So as a gamer, I'm sure you can imagine how awesome that is. Yeah, tell me about it. Auto cover, it's amazing. Though it does get a bit annoying when you walk around and you get too close and you're like, ah, stuck to you. Um, yeah, so this game is only in its beta stage. Um, we have the lovely Miss Sinacuti in here with me, having a playthrough with me. So it's not a lot of content because it is only in beta stage. Um, yeah, I can't actually remember the story off the top of my head. Um, so if we hold up here a minute, I'll just I'll give you I'll give you the information that I've been given about the story. All right. Well, first of all, I'll yeah. This is what they're trying to make. Okay, that's that's what they're aiming for game wise. And I don't know why I'm moving my mouse round, you know, because nobody else can see what I'm going around. You can't find my Discord in your. In, oh. Oh. Yeah, perhaps it keeps floating away. After all, it is it is a long boat. Yeah, so, uh, Mr. Storm, if you're still there, man, um, the the story is, uh, basically, I'll just read what the the literature that I've got, because, um, you know, I'm just literally streaming it for fun, so, uh, so, yeah, uh, in Batch 17, which is obviously the game, uh, you play as an unnamed clone soldier who wakes up amidst the violent resistance against the organization that runs the mining colony you've been made to protect so you're playing as a clone soldier All right so 
that in itself is amazing to start off a story with. Um, that brings so many, many opportunities for absolutely everything because it's just like completely out there. Uh, born without the ability to speak, but with memories of your previous life. So obviously the person that turned the host of the clones. Um, <laughs> you made me jump again. Uh, yeah, what was it? Uh, yeah, previous life. The, your quest then leads you to the resistance, where you learn you're not the only one having these memories, but that there is something very strange about the remote outpost you live on. Led by the shadowy, shadowy leader, who seems to have vested interest in you. Fight through your ver ver fight through a variety of levels and environments to piece together the mystery of who you are and the significance of the seventeenth batch of clones. So that's the story. That's basically a cut down script of the story um, that I've been given. Um, if you've got any questions, in Mr. Digifrost is Digital Frost is still here. He'll kindly answer him because obviously he's part of the team that's doing the marketing and the ambassadory of the game. I'm just here to try and improve the reach of the game by using my stream channel. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, and then you got. A, the, the AI will literally track you down and tag you from sides. They'll flank you, they'll team up on you. They'll make a mess of you if you're not careful. Um, basically, the loot and skills set is different from any game I can actually think of at the moment. Um, basically, it's... You shoot my web. That's a bit mean. I mean, I know I'm not the nicest looking person in the world, but come on. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the loots and skills. In batch 17, there's no experience points. All your power derives from the loot you are acquire, you require and how you build your character's skill trees. Skill points drop from mini bosses, major bosses, and epic mobs, as well as spawned AI. The skill points are redeemed for increased power in a particular skill branch. Each upgrade promises unique PvE and PvE opportunities. There are currently six active skills and three passive specialization paths. The following skills are available on day one. Turrets. Place these automatic beasts down and watch them decimate the army. The enemy. The army. Yeah. Rocket launchers. Rocket launchers. Right. Here it says self-explanatory. My 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 explanation of them is they're awesome. They make a lot of mess. They're fun, and I want one. I can't wait till that gets unlocked because I will be literally ending up probably killing myself with it, playing around with it so much. Uh, EMPs knocks out lights and temporary blinds the enemy. Radios teleports to the defined point on the map or at high level of spec. You can teleport anywhere. Cover shields. Deploy these babies to provide instant cover from the incoming fire. X-rays. Not finding enough secret loot. Keep getting jumped by the AI or other players. Spec high in X-rays and see through the pesky walls. Skill points are hard to come by, so choose wisely. So that's the blurb that I've got. I shouldn't really call it a blurb because it's not the right word, but... That's the brief I've been given to the game. Oh my god, that's, that's so cool. And then you can make yourself have a disco. As you can see, they've got the, sh the light reflecting off the windows. they got ambientic, something lighting. Right, if we can get across that bridge, Miss Sinner, we can get you a pair of gloves.
Yeah, ambient light. See, everybody knows what I'm trying to say apart from my brain. So yeah, if you, you know, should be able to pick up the uh, gloves. Yeah, so hopefully you've managed to pick up the... Well, hello! Wow. The grenade went through the floor. That landed perfectly in between them as well. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Did you manage to pick up the um, gloves? Awesome. Yeah, man, this is a beta. We we expect this, but that was a perfect grenade throw, which doesn't happen often with me, to be fair. <laughs> Usually, I end up blowing myself up or my teammates with grenades. So, yeah, just a fair warning to you guys. Oh, this is gonna hurt my ears. Yeah, man, it's uh. Oh. That's so loud! Yeah, exactly. Alright, man. Lovely to see you. Hope you have a good day, whatever you're doing. And yeah, I'll probably still be on later, but I may change a game, otherwise this is going to take forever to download onto the PC. And then upload onto, onto YouTube. Because it took long enough with the two odd hour one I did yesterday, and I've done this one for a lot longer. Aha, lights on, lights off, lights to the side. Take care, Mr. Storm. Yeah, I might have to stop this game in a minute just so that it doesn't take too long. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, these are only supposed to be like marketing vids, so you know. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Take care. Thank you for stopping by, man. Can we give a quick shout out to Mr. Storm, please? Thank you, Mr. Digi. You are amazing. Wow, I'm gonna be um, out. <laughs> See you later, bud. Take care. Ah. Well, I'm dead again. <laughs> Damn, AI is too good for me. Can I turn the setting down? Turn down to idiot. Ah, oh, yeah, see, I never thought to ask that one. You can tell I don't play many beta games. There you go, Mr. Ambassador. Nice question for you. I don't know, I seem to be managing to die alright. <laughs> Perhaps I got the NPC health. Ugh. 
But it makes sense, you know, you got to make them a bit harder, don't you? Right, okay. Um, so I'm going to call that game there just simply because I'm going to be forever waiting for it to upload. And nobody's actually going to get through to watching it all as I can't actually mod my videos because I'm terrible at it. So, and I don't actually have the equipment to do it at the moment, software wise. Um, so. So everybody, that's that is batch seventeen. That's amazing game, and hopefully this one was a bit more descriptive than the other one, as I was so tired when I did that one. As I'd only been up for like five minutes before I stumbled onto the streaming. But I'm not ending my stream completely. I'm just changing the game as this whole thing is literally just for the purpose of marketing the video so thank you again for coming by that's not a problem Mr. Ditch so um, yeah I will be stopping the stream for a second just so that I can end the game and start up again um, just so you know it's not tagging onto another game when I'm doing the uh, YouTube part of it yeah, I'm sorry, DJ. That must be really late for you, there, bud. Um, so you can either stay by, or you can, you know, go off and do whatever you need to do. Um, but it's been a pleasure to play this game for you guys, guys and girls, guys and guys and guys and people, gamers. That's the one. I knew I'd get there eventually. My English is failing me badly today. It's great. Um, so yeah, if you stay around, uh, that's awesome, if not, then that's awesome. No, I was trying to say gamers, but I was going, I, I was going for geysers, which is a type of water, underwater thingy, thing. Yeah, those things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to go and close down the stream. I'm then going to quickly make a cup of tea because I'm thirsty. And teas are always nice. Uh, and then I'll be back. Uh, I'm probably going to play Sniper Elite for a change. And then uh, I will be back very, very shortly. So if you guys want to stay around, you're more than welcome. If you want to go, you're more than welcome and just a massive thank you for you guys stopping by and having so much fun with me much love guys